Welcome to Art Inspired Yoga at the Berry Art Museum. My name is Leah of Rise and Shine. This flow, we highlight Richard Marcus's Razzle Dazzle Monitor 12-6. The name Razzle Dazzle refers to dazzle camouflage. With this type of camouflage, the goal is to mislead the enemy and cause poor firing positions. This work is another artwork featured in the Berry Art Museum's Augmented Reality Project. If you enjoy programming such as this, please consider becoming a member of the Berry Art Museum. We would love to have you. Welcome to the yoga portion of Art Inspired Yoga. In the display case to my left, to your right, you can see Richard Marcus's Razzle Dazzle Monitor piece in there. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and have a seat on your mat. Lower down with control and lay down. Get comfy, let your shoulder blades fall into their sockets. Hug your knees into your chest. Gently breathe in, connecting your breath to movement. <sighs> nice. Massaging your lower back here, hugging your knees into your chest, feeling a gentle stretch in your hip flexors. Plant the soles of your feet onto the mat and then let them touch, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand can be on your belly, one hand on your heart. Connect with your breath here, letting your knees fall open. Feel free to place blocks behind your thighs for added support. As we start this art inspired flow, when I thought of Razzle Dazzle and realizing the, the effect of the camouflage, but also just the name Razzle Dazzle, it has movement, there's, there's a energy behind it. So this flow might feel like we're going in one direction and then switch up. Um, there's gonna be a lot of new, new movements, but definitely connected. Um, so yeah, let's enjoy this flow. Always connecting your breath to movement. Gently close your knees, bring them together. Hug one knee to your chest, extend your left leg out long. You can always bend your left leg if that feels better too. And switch up, left knee comes into chest, right leg elongated or bent. Nice. Now extend both legs to the sky. Point and flex your toes. Have some ankle circles in here, warming up our feet. And cross your right ankle now over your left foot. Tee your arms out. Exhale, twist towards the left. Your right sole of your foot is stamping the ground. Both shoulders are down. Look over to your right shoulder. Feeling a nice twist from the base of your spine to the bottom of your neck. Keep breathing even in this twist here. Good, exhale, bring both knees back to center. Straighten your legs out, point and flex again. This time, left ankle goes over right quad. Twist over to the right side, left sole of your foot stamps down. Look over your left shoulder. Supine twist on the opposite side. Full breaths here, even in a twist. Allow yourself to be immersed in every pose as you're in it, not worrying about what's to come or what happened, just be fully present in the moment as best as you can. Good, exhale, both knees come back to center, uncross your left foot, walk your feet out as wide as your mat, knock your knees in together. Arms extend overhead and then cactus your arms like you're dragging your arms along the ground. Again, inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, bend your elbows, dragging your hands with purpose and intention, feeling a nice opening in your shoulders and upper back, maybe your chest even. Your knees are knocked in towards each other, having some relief on your hips. One more time, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bend your elbows and drag your arms down. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock up and down your spine, building momentum, taking your time here coming eventually up to seated. Good. Pass your legs through. Set yourself up for tabletop. As always, you can make fists here if you like. Drop your belly, inhale cow. Exhale, arch your back to cat. Inhale cow, collarbones are broadened. Exhale, tuck your tailbone down, tuck your chin to your chest for cat, rounding out your back. 
Inhale, cow, making sure our spine is nice and activated and warmed up. And exhale to cat. Good, come back to neutral spine. Undo your fists, plant your palms. Elongate your left leg behind you. Engage your core, find your balance. Right hand extends forward. Finding that balance as if we are a boat, right? Core is engaged and exhale. Tap your left knee with your right hand. Extend your limbs out. Tap your knee. Extend out. Good. Connect your breath to movement. Really activating our core here. Good job on that balance. Opposite side comes out now. Right leg extends. Left hand is out. Tap your knee. And elongate. Think long. Move with control here. Really using your core to move your legs. Good. Keep looking down at the mat. Your neck and spine are one straight line. Oop, and come back down to neutral spine. All right, big toes come to touch, knees spread out wide, getting set up for child's pose here. Walk your hands out far and rest your forehead down on the mat. Perhaps you put a block or make a pillow with your fist to bring the floor up to you, your choice. Breathe in here, knowing whatever movement comes for you in the flow, you can handle it. Just let yourself be fully present in the moment, enjoying the movement as if you were a boat rocking back and forth. Gently come out of child's pose, come back up to seated. Sitting up nice and tall in hero's posture. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly here. Check in with your breath. Sitting up nice and tall, elongated through the crown of your head and gently lean back a little bit. You're gonna feel a slight stretch in the front of your feet and in front of your ankles, chest stays lifted, core is engaged. Go as far back as possible. You may wanna collapse here, but keep your chest lifted, keep breathing deeply and come out of it sitting nice and tall. Good job. Tuck your toes under now and tabletop, hovering tabletop. Waking up your feet and exhale. Hips come up, first down dog of class. Hips are up high to the sky. Push evenly through both palms. Walk through your down dog. Look in between your ankles. So your neck is not cocked up, it's relaxing down. Feeling strong and supported through your hands. Feeling the backs of your legs warming up and stretching with this bread and butter pose of yoga. Keep breathing here. Find some stillness in your down dog. Lift your heels. Bend your knees very deeply and baby step your way to the front of your mat. Head stays down here in forward fold. Gently grab opposite elbows, bend your knees if you like, rock side to side ragdoll. Again, that rocking motion, playing with this idea of a boat. Bend your knees for some relief here. Good, and inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, slide your hands back down, forward fold. Bend your knees super deep, roll up one vertebra at a time. Let your arms just dangle up. Standing up nice and tall. Good. All right, inhale, arms overhead, extended mountain pose. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Lower your knees down this first time through. Shift forward, chaturanga. Elbows staying really close to your side here. They might even graze your ribs. Lower all the way down now, forehead down on the mat. Lift up, low cobra. Exhale, lower down, warming up our back here. Push through the tops of your feet as you lift your chest up as high as you can, balancing almost on your pelvic bones, it might feel. Lift up, low cobra, and exhale, release. Good job, tuck your toes under, come back up to tabletop just for a beat and push your hips up to the sky, downward dog. Inhale here, exhale, <sighs> lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop or float to the front of your mat, forward fold here, inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back, core is engaged, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reverse swan dive, swoop your arms tall overhead, powerful extended mountain pose, look up, Point your index finger up to the sky. Cactus your arms just like you did on the floor, this time standing up. Welcome that nice opening. 
and exhale, dive down, forward fold. Bend your left knee now, plant your left hand, twist open to the right. Right hand is high, left hand is planted. Now lift yourself back up, still looking behind at your right hand. Look forward, bring your right hand there, bend into chair pose. Your feet can be two fist lengths apart. Weight is in your heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes, tap your toes, chest is lifted, tailbone is slightly tucked, core is engaged. Think up and stand up tall, extended mountain pose. Look up, cactus your arms again. Good, arms come back up tall, look straight ahead. Exhale, dive down, forward fold, bend your left or your right leg, plant your right hand, paint your left hand up to the sky, twist here. You can always place a block under your supporting hand. And now push up, lift up, look over your left hand, swoop your left arm in front, bend down into chair pose again. Same thing, heart is lifted, core is engaged, look forward ahead as if you're offering something to someone, arms straight ahead, so strong. Good job. And inhale, swoop your arms up. Good. Cactus your arms. Lift your heart up. Exhale, dive down. Forward fold. Same thing. Plant your left hand. Twist open to the right. Arms come up, looking over behind you. Swoop this, your arm forward, sinking right into chair. Finding that flow, looking up. Cactus your arms. Arms overhead. Exhale, dive down playing with all this water imagery. Plant your right hand, swoop your left arm up, push off, look behind your left hand, swoop your left hand up and through to chair posture. Sink your hips down low, you are strong. Hands come to heart center, chest is still lifted, still sinking in that chair pose, thinking low, thinking strong and grounded. You got this, keep breathing. I know, and arms extend overhead, biceps by your ears. Good, stand up nice and tall. Bring your hands to heart center, shake that out. Chair pose is a big heat builder. So good, y'all. Inhale, arms overhead, extend a mountain pose. Exhale, dive down. Plant your left hand, bend your left knee. Right hand is up high to the sky. Stand back up tall. Switching it up, step your left foot back, setting up for warrior two. So, oh sorry, your right foot is back, your left foot's in front, shoulders are relaxed down, look over your left middle finger, strong bend in your left leg, straighten your left foot now, reverse triangle, thinking lifted, as if you're being pulled up by your left hand, but your hand is, your shoulder is still relaxed down. Now bend into your left foot, make your feet parallel, left hand is planted, right hand swoops up that familiar twist, you can always bend in your knees if that feels better for you. Good, right hand comes down, wide-legged forward fold, rest on your forearms. Maybe you have blocks under here. Do what feels best for you. Now plant your right hand, left arm twists up. Good, core is engaged here, breathing. Exhale, both hands are down on the floor. Bend carefully into your right foot this time, warrior two, facing what was the back of your mat. So again, that razzle-dazzle movement, playing with this, following where the movement goes. Good, carefully let your left hand lead you back towards the back of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead, extended mountain pose. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Facing the back of your mat now, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, lunge here. So left foot is back, right foot is forward, runner's lunge. Lower your left knee down, untuck your left toes, rise up, low crescent lunge, right foot is in front. Feeling a really great hip opener on your left side here. Core is engaged, bringing your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Welcome this big hip opener. Good, plant your palms now, shift back, half split. Right toes are peeling back towards your face, slight bend in your right knee. Melt your heart as close to your right shin as possible. Keep your shoulders back, keeping that flat back. Good, your hips are stacked over your back knee, not towards your heels. All right, carefully re-bend into your right leg. Un sorry, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, bend into your left foot, 
hop it forward, getting set up here for pyramid posture. All right, so from a quick pyramid, we're bringing our left foot up, bending at the left knee. Again, another hip opener here. It's almost like a three-legged dog, but not quite. All right, lower your left leg down, runner's lunge, right foot steps back to left. You can lower your knees here for your chaturanga vinyasa. Push up, upward dog, look straight ahead, not up to the sky. There you go, and exhale, down dog. A lot of razzling and dazzling here. Keep looking at your ankles, walk your hands towards your feet. Let's take a little breather here. Nod your head yes, relax your neck. Shake your head no. All right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt your hands down. And inhale, swoop your arms overhead, extend in mountain pose, hands at heart center. Full breaths here. So you're just gonna turn around, back to the original front of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your right foot back, left foot in front. Little rocking motion here for this runner's lunge. All right, lower your right knee, untuck your right toes, lift up here, low crescent lunge. So you might wanna wiggle your foot a little forward, make sure that your knee and ankle, um, your knee doesn't go past your toes, so set yourself up with enough space. Inhale, arms overhead, grab opposite elbows, gently push back, lifting your chest just like we did earlier. Lift up, feel that lift, feel that elongation. Good, exhale, hands to your hips as you get set up. Core is engaged, relax your shoulders down. Bend a little bit more into your left leg. Good, shift your hips back, half split. Same thing, other side. Toes are peeled back, nice and flexed. Soft bend in your left knee. Keep your heart lifted, flat back here. Hinge forward from your hips as you melt your heart closer to your left shin, good. Rebend into your left leg, tuck your right toes under, and bring your right leg closer. Palms are both on the ground or blocks. Inhale here, lift your right leg up, stack your hip bones, bend your right knee. Feel that big hip opener as you stand, strong in your supporting left leg, right leg is bent. Big hip opener here, arms are supporting you as well. Good, and exhale, lower your legs down, median forward fold. Bounce around a bit. We're gonna move side to side, painting rainbows with our forward fold. Knees are bent. Arms are just luxuriously draping from side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Bend your knees super deep, roll up one vertebra at a time. Head's the last thing to come up. Hands at heart center. Check in with yourself, how are you doing? Connect your breath to movement. As you exhale, let go of everything up to this moment. Let your hands come down traditional mountain posture. Energy still surging through your fingertips. Moving with intention here. Full breaths. Good. All right, carefully now balance on your left leg. Lift your right knee up to you. Hug your right knee in to your chest. Your arms can actually help you cradle your leg. And then step back, setting up here, warrior two, right leg leads. Come up reverse triangle. This is familiar in our body. Stay lifted. Good. And exhale. Bend back, swoop both legs up now, which was the former back is now the front. Hug your left knee in into your chest, keep your balance. If not, just get back into it. Thinking tall, supported through your right leg, cradling your left knee with your, your hands. Good. It helps me to focus on one spot in the room when I'm doing these balance poses. Shoot your left leg back, facing the wide side of your mat now. Setting up for a wide leg forward fold. 
head comes down as if the crown of your head is calling towards the floor. You can bind your hands behind you and gently bring your fists over towards the top of your head, feeling a stretch in your upper back and rear shoulders. Good, core is engaged even in this wide-legged forward fold. You can plant your palms under your shoulders, heel toe your feet into Malasana Yogi Squat. So always keeping our heart lifted, shoulders back, collarbones broadened. Use your arms to encourage your legs open a bit more. Good. Release your palms as gracefully as you can. Come back to seated. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Round out your back for a seated cat. And now seated cow, shine your heart forward. Seated cat, tuck your chin to your chest. Really round out your spine here. Seated cow, shining your heart forward. Shoulders are back. Exhale, seated cat. Relax your neck here. And shine your heart forward one more time in cow. All right, swing your legs behind you. Coming through to lower our belly. Setting up now for our peak posture. We've had a lot of movement. We warmed up our back muscles. We tested our balance. Put it all together. Take your time here. We're gonna lift up to Sphinx posture. So elbows are stacked under your shoulders, lifting up. Your legs are still down on the ground. You can look ahead or let your head rest down, feeling your back, especially your lower back stretch out. Legs are behind you as if they're on a track. So they're parallel. Your legs are like two railroad tracks parallel to each other. Same with your forearms. Inhale here and exhale. Now lower your head down to the mat. I made a nice little pillow for myself with my hands. You can look towards the left side or the right side. Whatever feels best. You can keep your forehead straight down as well. Bend your left knee, bringing your left heel towards your glutes. Reach behind with your left hand and gently encourage your heel as close to your glute as possible. Push through your hip bones. Push your hip flexors into the ground, feeling that big opening in the front of your leg. Keep breathing through this. Let the ground help you open into this posture. Good, as you kick your heel closer to your glute, gently release. Same thing, other side. Reach behind for your right foot with your right heel. Do your best to keep your hip bones down onto the ground. Release the front of your leg, your quads. You can also kick into your hand, opening your shoulder joint up a bit more. So really working on our hips and shoulders here. Gently release your right leg. Facing down now. Good. All right, now lift yourself up to upward facing dog. Even more of a, a back activation. Lower down. Coming up again, upward dog. Wrist, elbow, shoulders all stacked. Look straight ahead. Quads are off the mat, knees are off the mat. If this is too much for your back, go back into Sphinx pose where you do rest down. Embrace your body where it is in this moment. Never forcing, good. Exhale, lower your knees, come back to child's pose. Reset. This is the prelude to our peak posture. So really making sure our back is warmed up. Rest your head down, reach behind, reach for your left foot. Now doing it at the same time, reach for your right foot. So activating your back muscles, lift up. Kick into your, your hands, let your hands lift your feet, almost rocking like that boat. Let your inner thighs be engaged towards each other and let go. We had bow pose. Bow pose is a very big hip, shoulder, everything opener, big back bend, it takes a lot of strength. So give yourself time to recoup. Going for a second round here. You can grip your foot from the outside or inside. Either one works. Do your best to keep your inner thighs engaged so your knees aren't 
aren't splaying out and lift up, lift your chest as high as you can, kick into your hands, lift up. You're gonna have that rocking motion. Keep breathing, hold it a little longer. Yes, you can, good, and let go. Great job. We're not, our body's not usually in that shape throughout the day. So it's good to loosen up, try something new, give our body a new sensation. All right, again, reach behind for both feet, engage your inner thighs. Deep breath in and exhale, kick into your hands, lift your chest up as high as you can. Beautiful bow pose, embrace that back bend Yes, you can, good. Exhale, release with love and control. Nice razzle dazzling, y'all. Very good bow pose and balance, rocking like a boat. Shift up into child's pose here. You can wrap your hands behind, grabbing your heels. We're going to go into our cool down now. You are always welcome to stay in a certain posture as long as you like. You can stay in this child's pose the entirety of our cool down. Keep focusing on your breath and restoration. For those who want to continue, go ahead and sit back up tall. You did really great, everyone. Legs extend in front of you. Good, you can keep a bend in your knees. Chest is lifted. Lifting your right foot, then your left. Going into our traditional boat pose. How could we do a piece about a boat without doing boat pose? Shoulders are back. Collarbones are broadened. Relax the muscles in your jaw and neck. You can always place your hands down for support. Good core activation. Good. Come back to seated. I'll face you so you can see this better. All right. Shoulders are back. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Left hand extends out, feeling a nice stretch along the left side of your neck. Roll your head down to the other side. Left ear comes to left shoulder. Right arm extends out to the side. Again, welcoming that stretch. Rotate your head back down, looking straight down. Inhale, swoop your arms overhead, look up to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms. Place your hands in front of you now. Hug yourself like a, can a, seated, a seated cannonball. Tucking your chin to your chest, just relaxing, calming the vagus nerve down. Good. Now you can place your hands down for support. You can windshield wiper your legs. So bringing both knees to the left, both knees to the right, feeling a nice relief in your hips here. Good. Swing your legs down, lay back down. We have a reclined Seated figure four. Hugging your left knee as close into your chest as possible, welcoming the stretch on your right outer thigh. Right foot is flexed. Good, go back to that supine twist. Tee your arms out. Stamp your right sole of your foot to the ground. Look over your right shoulder. Full breath here. Good, bring your knees back to center. Uncross here, switch other side. Left ankle crosses over right quad. Hug your right knee towards you. Make sure your head and shoulders are resting down on the mat. Full breaths here. Good, exhale supine twist. Left foot is gonna stamp the ground. Look over your left shoulder. Full breaths here. <sighs> Exhale, both knees come into your chest, just like we began class, rocking side to side, feeling this relief in your lower back. Full breaths here as we wind down. Extend your legs up tall. Good. Lower your right leg, hug your left knee in. Switch legs, right knee comes into you, left leg elongates out. You can Getting ready for a quick little stretch here. 
almost scissoring your legs back and forth. You can grab at the ankle, shin, or hamstring. Again, rest your head and shoulders down on the mat. No need to rise up. Gently tugging and good. Exhale, bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest. Rocking side to side. Now this time, lift your head off the ground, lift your shoulders. Tiny, tight cannonball, activating every muscle in your body, including your face muscles. Good. Exhale, release down to Shavasana. This is where I'll leave you for your practice. Stay here as long as your day allows. Thank you for razzling this alongside me. Hope to see you soon at the Berry Art Museum. Take care.